Sandman. The Fencer, also known as just Fencer, is a mysterious creature created by Trevor Henderson. Appears as a disfigured humanoid figure dressed in a standard fencing uniform. As typical with fencing uniform, the suit is white, and covers the entire body except for the face, which is instead covered by a thin metal mask with many holes to make it see-through. His gauntlets are white, and it is safe to assume that the protective gear inside the suit is also white. The entire uniform is also coated in fresh and dry blood, the arrangement, state, and quantity of which varies vastly from image to image. The fencer is always seen wielding a fencing sword on his right hand, most commonly a foil, though he sometimes changes to other types like an ape, saber, or rapier. He has even been seen using a dagger at on point. The fencer himself appears to be a regular person at first glance, as most of his body is hidden by the suit, except for the head. This head is extremely deformed, to the point of being unrecognizable as a human. It has no skin, leaving nothing but red muscles and tissue exposed. It also lacks a nose, lips, or eyelids. Due to this, his nostril, large eyes, and teeth are always visible. And due to the face being somewhat sunken into the back of the hood, it is frequently difficult to see properly due to the shadows. It is completely unknown what the rest of his body may look like under the suit, although due to his origins, there is an argument to be made about it being the same as his face, being skinned and heavily disfigured, possibly even more so. Although we do know that it still has a human-like shape because it is able to fill most of the suit and the gloves. He is said to have actually been a human at one point, but unlike other cryptids who used to be human, Fencer did not undergo any sort of major transformation, nor did he become a ghost. Instead, Fencer was a student fencing champion that was extremely skilled in the sport. During one particularly intense match, he had suffered a fatal injury. A wealthy rival team had sabotaged him, presumably out of jealousy of his skills and position as a champion. It is assumed that they had actually used a real sword during their match, injuring him. While he was injured, they left him for dead and hid him in a place where people wouldn't find be able to find his body. They then started a fire that was staged to look like an accident, where he burnt painfully, leading to his grotesque appearance. However, despite his fatal injury and scorching burns, Fencer refused to die. During the fire, he eventually got up as if he was never injured and then ran off, looking for the people who sabotaged him, and killing anyone who gets in his way. Due to his wrongful death as a normal human, Fencer became an extremely vengeful and aggressive creature. He is said to be constantly looking for the people who had sabotaged him and will only stop until they are dead. Because of this, one might think that they are not aggressive to other people besides his saboteurs, but Trevor stated that he is blinded by rage and mistakes that anyone he comes across is one of the people who wronged him. This means that nobody is actually truly safe from being targeted by the Fencer when they encounter him. He is also not able to be persuaded about this either. Based on another comment from Trevor, Fencer is also known to be very violent with his killings, as he prefers to prolong the suffering of his victims. He also likes to invoke fear into them before striking, as he has been seen stalking his soon-to-be victims for anywhere between a few hours or even days. When finally he does attack, he usually does it in unexpectedly, and in somewhat public spaces as well. To make the victim even more afraid. Whenever Fencer targets someone, he usually will not leave them alone until they are dead or manage to quickly escape. His unparalleled vengefulness and anger lead him to be one of the more harrowing creatures to encounter, as he purposefully makes your death slow, painful, and terrifying. He will typically start by stabbing the victim multiple times in non-vital areas like the arms or legs, slowly following them around as they limp away. It is only when he decides that they have had enough that he will fatally stab them. But while his methods and strategy are brutal, Trevor has said that he fights with some semblance of sportsmanlike conduct, which likely means that he gives his victims a chance to escape or fight back if they catch on to him early enough, though few still survive even with this advantage. Fencer's main and most powerful ability is his virtual immortality. Brought to life by his anger and vengeance, Fencer is physically unable to die, or be effectively harmed by any conventional means. 
Everyone who has fought back against him have failed to damage him a meaningful amount, even using guns or swords. The actual factor that causes this immortality is unknown, though it is suspected to be a combination of two things extreme regeneration, and unbreakable armor. This is assumed because despite the fact that Fencer has been burnt to a crisp, we can see that he is still able to produce copious amounts of blood and does not decompose, meaning that his cells still have the ability to regenerate, and rapidly at that. Secondly, fencing armor is extremely tough, being made of thick and sometimes even bulletproof materials. This could mean that his supernatural anger may have also affected his already tough armor to be unbreakable. Another inherently supernatural power of his is the ability to completely, renew, his equipment at any time. All of the different sightings and drawings of him depict him with varying stains of blood, some dry, some fresh, some have more or less than the others, and so on. He also seems to be able to manifest any weapon that is primarily used for thrusting stabs, like fencing swords or daggers. It is unknown how he does this and where he gets these weapons from. His final ability is his human-like physique and intelligence. Despite being nearly killed and being blinded with rage, Fencer still retains some of his humanity in the form of his intelligence. Of course, he uses this intelligence to kill, as he is able to carefully plan his constant stalking and attacking of people. He is also seemingly able to understand human speech and emotion, but still cannot be reasoned with due to his vengeance. His intelligence is mostly displayed in his strangely elegant movements and proficiency when using his weapons, a trait carried over from his past life, and has possibly been amplified during his transition into a supernatural zombie.